looking at your policing career, you know, how has it changed out there? Because it does seem like it's very different. It seems like our police are a lot more militarized than they were, like, let's say 20, 25 years ago. So like, how has policing changed um, from, you know, when you were doing it versus what you're seeing now? Well, actually, you hit it on the head because it started making a change about 20, 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, when I left the sheriff's department, we had in Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department here in, in California, we had to do uh, classes like verbal judo and things like that, where you learn de-escalation techniques. Now, for the last 20 years, they've had a thing called warrior training or this fear-based training called killology that teaches law enforcement officers that death is intimate, that you know, you, in, everybody's the enemy. And we take this military type uh, approach to dealing with people where we don't uh, hesitate to kill someone and we don't feel guilty about it. And that type of tech not, uh, techniques are not beneficial to the community. You are a servant as a law enforcement officer to the people. You should mm -hmm. not be treating people as if they are uh, the enemy or if there's some army that you're facing in a very life-threatening situation. And mm -hmm. that is what's been done. It's been done by a professor of West Point in psychology called David, Dr. David Grossman, mm -hmm. and it's that are doing it too. And 20 years, that's why I said you were right on point, for 20 years, they've been teaching this technique. Now, what happens when a law enforcement officer is afraid of the community that he's serving? Then overreactions, things like that can occur. I saw the lady who shot and killed this young man that was in a car, and she said she thought that she had grabbed her taser. Mm -hmm. Well, all you have to do is look at the video and you see the look of horror on her face. Mm -hmm. Total. And now I don't know if she had that guy's training or some other training that taught that, but having worked uh, Linwood Station in, in California, East Compton, uh, those type Willowbrook area, mm -hmm. I can tell you that yes, a very dangerous job, but 90% of the people out there will help you before they will hurt you. You know, you have to be alert, you have to follow policy, and then you have to do what needs to be done and escalate according to the need. You don't mm -hmm. walk in communicating to people in a way that is derogatory, bossing people in front of their children and wife, demeaning them. If you don't do those things, 90% of these guys will cooperate. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a dangerous element out there. Sure. But that's why you carry a gun. That's why you wear a bulletproof vest. That's... That's the job that you chose and you should not be afraid to do it because I would rather do that than to stand on a high rise with a scalpel and, and, and take a chance of falling a hundred feet. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying?